Okay, welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 2. So what we are doing now is moving this thing out of the way. And then what we're doing now is uh, we are going to look for the remote controlled missile launcher. Which is uh, over here. Actually, better idea is to uh, look for the node in this floor. So I can have a map. Maps are cool. There are cameras in here, and I don't really want to disturb them, so I'm just not going to. Of course I could throw a traffic grenade in there. At least there's no guards around. At least as far as I know. Uh, no, we're good. Okay. Oh, there is a guard. Oh, and you know what? That's the president's code. <gasps> Who's there? Oh, the crap out of the president. Knock it off. <laughs> Get it? Knock it off. <laughs> knock it off. <laughs> oh, when am I going to stop being funny? Oh, I'm full on rations. Perhaps I should use one. Get it out of the way. Okay, so the Nikita missile launcher is on this floor somewhere in the water. Might as well grab the node while we're here. I think this is the last node too. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I can't remember. The Nikita's either like right around the corner here or really far in the, the water. I know how to swim, Colonel. <sighs> Colonel, B1 is completely flooded from what I can see. You'll have to swim through. I'm fine with swimming. Stroke the water and move. Blah, 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 blah. Know how to swim right now. You have to remind me. So... My suggestion to this place is to get used to it as quickly as possible. Why you may ask? Well, because you should. Because you'll need to know it a little bit better later. There's the Nikita missile launcher. Plus, you can find goodies around here. And that is not a area we can go into. I meant to. I was kind of like, nah, I don't need it. Don't worry if you're uh, you're really running out of breath. It's not gonna kill you or anything. What will happen though is your life will begin to decrease. And apparently, since you have rations, you can uh, stay alive with those. But anyways, let's head back up. Not over here though. No, not over there. I love the Nikita missile launcher, but the only problem is, is you never end up having to use it at all. I 
wish I could read that bottom part. I think there's a guard in here now. So we either have like the the PSG one tranquilizer and the M9 ready, or if you really are feeling that daring, go ahead and pull out, you know, your M4 or your AK or your SOCOM or whatever you feel like pulling out. But it doesn't look like there's any guards here, which I thought there were. So I'm wrong. I think it's this one you want to fire the, the shot into and direct. Just kind of be slow with it. Like if you keep uh, nodding it back and forth, you'll be able to make it so it doesn't go all crazy in here. Where don't shoot the president. What the hell happened? <laughs> right, right in. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was too good. Oh, man. Good times. I tell you, good times. Okay, so we have the pattern down pretty well. And you don't need to aim up or down or anything like that. What are you doing? Stay. What is it? Okay. All right. So once that's uh, blown up, let's go talk to the president. Probably not a good idea to walk into the president's room with a gigantic missile launcher. President Johnson. Uh, so you're finally here. You've been expecting me? Your equipment, that skull suit, isn't exactly standard military issue. Are you alright, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you? Hmm. What the? You're a man? Hmm. Well, who are you? Foxhound, sir. Foxhound? I see. Now things are starting to make a little sense. <laughs> I'm still confused. Switch over to nano communication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you read me, sir? Uh, yes. Mr. President, it's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now? They're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I wanted power. They sought destruction. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. But you're the president. You have power. No, I'm just a figurehead. What? I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. The Patriots? The truth behind this country. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. Huh? Politics, the military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the patriots rule this country. No. <laughs> Hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. The space defense, income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. Uh-oh. Come on, game, you can do it. 
You can do it. Space there we go. Was initiated by Congress. That's what the Patriots want the country to believe. It's all a show. Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Think about it. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. This country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Huh? Don't look at me like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. The Patriots. Even I don't know who the actual members are. Are they financial, political, or military leaders? No one knows who the Patriots really are. Even my instructions come from a cutout. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men, known as the Wise Men's Committee. Your office? The White House? Merely puppets. Pawns in a game. By pledging my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the presidency. Hmm. Of course, that wasn't the only price I had to pay. What do you mean? Even if a pawn becomes a queen, it is still just a playing piece. I wanted to leave my own mark in history, but my ambitions were... You'll understand someday. I wished to be a member of the Patriots. I wanted to wield the power of a king instead of being an expendable pawn. And that justifies acts of terrorism? Yes. I'd intended to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? But I underestimated some of this. He actually wants to challenge the Patriots, even if it means the destruction of the world. What are you saying? Whether you believe it or not, the balance of power rests in the hands of the Patriots. They regulate the country's various interests through controlled presentation, staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. Can you imagine what would happen? If they cease to function? Picture a massive political vacuum. A space that every power monger will try to fill for their own greedy ends. I'm talking about an unregulated power struggle. Panic. Civil war. Chaos. Like it or not, the Patriots is an organization that must continue to exist. So you changed your mind because you wanted to avoid global chaos. Exactly. When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. And who is this Solidus? My predecessor, George Sears. That was the name the public came to know him by. I knew him by his code name, Solidus Snake. He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid, a survivor of the Les Enfants Terribles project. Neither solid nor liquid. He was a well-balanced masterpiece that the Patriots saw fit to entrust with the presidency. However, he fell out of grace with the organization four years ago. When acting on his own, he started an incident. Four years ago? Shadow Moses! That's right. With the time, the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, together with certain influential parties, initiated the development of Metal Gear Rex, and an advanced nuclear warhead. However, this did not fall in line with the Patriots' plans. What's more, Solidus decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Asala, to provoke Liquid Snake, bringing about the said incident. As a result, he succeeded in obtaining Rex and the data on the warhead. But in doing so, he ended up revealing the existence of both Rex and the Genome Army, a blunder that earned him the wrath of the Patriots. Shortly thereafter, Solidus was removed from the presidential office.